I'm here at the Fanac Open House with Paul Enser of IGC. And Paul, you're presenting a lot of new tools today. Talk us through some. Yeah, Joe, we support Fanac uh, in applications. Um, and one thing that's very important with the Fanac machines is the BBT30 back ends. Um, big guy shower make the face and taper contact tool in. And it effectively turns a 30 taper machine into what is more than a 40 taper. 31.75 is a standard BT30 and with the contact taper it will take you up to 46 millimeter diameter. The obvious added advantage of that is that you can put larger tools and more power through the spindle of the Fanuc machines. Yeah, it's fair to say in years gone by, you know, people were maybe scared off BT30 machines, whereas now, like you say, they perform at like a BT40 or even better. Yeah, and that's through using the face and taper of the big Kaiser product. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got a selection of tools here, um, including the tool holders, some of the larger diameter tools, some of the specials that we manufacture. We're also showing the digital boring heads, uh, where you've got a one micron incremental change through a digital screen, which is also Bluetooth linked for ease of setting, which is very popular. And something that's drawing a lot of attention is actually the Swarf fans. Yeah, Swarf fan, I've seen that before, but usually blue. <laughs> yep, this one is made on license from Big Kaiser. It's in the ITC red. We're going to be uh, putting that on promotion. It's usually around £230, but we're going to start selling these at £175 in the ITC red. And I understand it's uh, running on the machine, let's go and take a look. It is indeed. So yeah, the, ch the chip fan is actually machined from a solid billet aluminium, um, making it a very strong integral piece. It's actually got a through centre hole, um, which allows you to actually blow air or coolant through it to actually wash the parts off. And then obviously the rotational speed going up to 12,000 RPM to give you a very direct air blast over the top of the part mm -hmm. and around the machine to actually clear the swarf from around. And, you know, these aren't, we see a lot of these in test environments, but, you know, there is a real life application for these. Just for the people at home, what are the advantages? Well, if you're machining anything um, in a production environment where you're trying to keep the production and robot loading going, you need to clear the swarf out. So, whether there's swarf on top of the component, around the, the machine itself, you need to clear that. So, the, the chip fan allows you to actually blow the component off, wash it off into ports or bores. That can be offloaded by the, the robot. You can then bring the chip fan back in and actually clear down the, the vice or the application area, reload, knowing that there's no chips impacting on the actual holding of the workpiece. That's it. It's too, for me, there's two main advantages. One, the automation, you know, but the other one is a safe, safe machine environment. When you rough a part out, quite often you come in with a, yeah. an end mill to finish, maybe a ball nose, you're recutting the swarf sometimes, and obviously you have a, an inferior surface finish. There is a minor cost implication as well that in most cases if an operator is actually opening the door and blowing down with compressed air, compressed air is actually very expensive. Using the actual machine and the rotational speed of the spindle to actually blow all that away, it's use of the machine in cycle. And I know this is the, the essentially the, the first launch of the ITC uh, SWAR fan. Is an offer coming? Yeah, as I said, we we're putting out on offer. Um, we've got initially large batches that we've ordered, pre-ordered. We're just waiting for them to come in now, but we're offering them out at £175, so get your orders in now. There we are. We heard it from ITC. Get your orders in now.